Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. Last episode, we met with our new boss, Luigi Godarelli, and we were outrageously overpaid for some pretty trivial work. But this episode, we're just going to be doing some bonus content for that 100%. So, this episode, I'll be collecting 10 hidden packages. The first one of which is down here in the corner of Hepburn Heights. So, collecting hidden packages in this game will give you an infinitely respawning weapon at your hideout. And that will appear every block of 10 packages that you collect. So they're this sort of uh, uh, white, white wrapped crap with masking tape put all over it. It's pretty, uh, pretty standard looking package design. And they're hidden in what are meant to be pretty out of the way locations. Now I was told by someone in the comments to drive recklessly and be a general idiot about driving and not to worry too much about doing things wrong. And uh, well, I, I kind of agree with you so I'm going to crash into this pole on my way to collecting the next hidden package. And for now, we're, we're going to well, just run over a dude and collect another one in the trees here. So, yeah, this episode's going to be nothing but uh, driving around and doing this. So if you felt so compelled to not watch this episode and only join in for the... Uh, for the main storyline missions, then that is perfectly acceptable, and I will not hate you for that. Uh, this is all just a, um, it's an obligation when you're doing the 100% run. But, as I mentioned about the infinitely respawning weapons, there is a direct advantage, uh, positive consequence for collecting all of these. So at the end of all of this, we will be getting a new weapon which we can use in all the missions that are to come. And that'll save us having to uh, buy ammo and whatnot. Which isn't really an issue, considering just driving around will earn you more than enough money. But health. You've got to start somewhere, right? So, uh, each hidden package will give you a thousand dollars. So, every block of ten will give you ten grand. And I'm pretty sure collecting all hundred will give you a hundred thousand at the end, in addition to everything that you've already gotten. So, you will be earning a lot of money doing this, though, money is a relative non issue in this game. Especially once you've collected all the hidden packages, you'll already have all the weapons you'll ever need to begin with, so. You'll never need to spend money on anything. And that's something that uh, Vice City and San Andreas uh, did well in that regard, is giving you money to actually spend. And they didn't dole it out in such liberal amounts either, so you had to actually work towards certain goals with the money that you collect. It's not the case in GTA 3, however, you'll just sort of get given money for anything. And I'm just going to run over a couple of these builders because fuck it, there's enough builders in the world, we don't need two more. So we're now collecting hidden packages in the St. Mark's area of Portland Island. And St. Mark's will quickly become the worst area in the game, so uh, not not spoiling anything for you there if you haven't already played this game, but you'll want to do most of the optional content that is possible in the game in Portland Island as soon as possible, because you're not going to want to come here after we're done, so trying to be as, le as uh, few spoilers as possible. So yeah, it is advised that you do actually complete everything you can as straight away. And that includes doing the notoriously awful paramedic missions. 
because they are easily done in a small environment such as Portland. However, Portland is also the worst map in the game for other certain reasons, so... Yeah, I'll just redundantly repeat myself over and over. And we've gotten our first gun in the game, uh, which is the Micro Uzi. And guns in this game don't stack, so we will be able to carry every weapon in the game with us. Though, to counteract that, there's only really one of each type of weapon in the GTA 3 to begin with, so... We now have an Uzi, and that is actually the only gun in the game which we can actually use to perform drive-by shootings with. So this is a very nice looking uh, abode here. With some fancy furniture and nice piano in the corner, playing uh, some cool jazz. I wonder who could possibly own this house. I have no idea. Maybe if you've never played the game, you can uh, have a guess who you think might own this place. It's not 8-Ball, that's for sure. So we're on our way to collecting the last hidden package of the episode. There it is. And the very dated game mechanic of being given pager messages occurs and we are alerted to the fact that a pistol is now spawning at our hideout. So I'm going to try and drive up this ramp here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try driving up this ramp here. I should just edit all this out and make it look like I'm actually really professional. And we get another weapon. And this is the pump action shotgun. And fuck. I'm just gonna flip the car over and kill a guy. Oh shit, this ain't gonna be pretty. Sweet. Totally butchered that mafia guy. Alright, so, um, I'll see you in a bit, because we don't have a vehicle anymore. Alright, so here we are, we're back at the hideout, and there it is. There is the pistol. So, we are now free to use this in all the missions that are to come. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for some actual storyline content.